like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is pretty. See, this is stupid, right? I just want to cut the limit, and I want y'all to see the damn limit. Are you gonna behave? Are you gonna behave? Me? Yes. Never. <laughs> Good morning, my beautiful people. It's Friday. That is my favorite day of the week. Whether you work Monday through Friday or not, Friday has always been my favorite. But hey, everybody, how y'all doing? I hope you are wonderful and blessed and have had good days up until now. But if not, I hope the bad moments end up with a payoff that made it worth it, okay? So this particular week, whenever you're seeing this vlog, I split my vlog up. I always do at least one weekly for my new folks but sometimes I'll do two. I decided to do the two because I think there's gonna be a lot to pack into this weekend. So today, this evening, um, a friend of mine, her birthday is, well, was two days ago, but she's turned 33. So we're going to meet at Sage Woodfire Tavern. I never had it before, over in the perimeter area. And then we're going out afterwards. And if you saw my previous vlog, this is the little sister of Ego Maserati, uh, otherwise known as Gio in his, in his closer friend circle. But yeah, we all grew up together in the same area. So we are all friends. So I'm going to that tonight. It's gonna be very interesting because uh, age is turning 33, I'm 41. I don't consider myself old, but there's that like i don't know how old, how young her friends are so while there would be other people there my age i just i don't know the restaurant is not where it'll stick out where we're going out we have to see because i don't know if it's kind of like a lounge so if you saw my other vlog where i went to my friend's birthday meetup um we went to a place called theory lounge well theory has ages like I don't even say the late 20s. It's usually like mid 30s all the way up until like I could run into my mother in there easily to like 60s, 70s, beyond I've seen. But it's a nice little vibe. The place we're going, let me look at the, <clears throat> let me look at the invite. Afterwards, um, I don't know. Ego says, he says it's like a little ratchet, but you know, me and him came up going to ratchet spots. It says it's a Sophista Ratchet Friday, but it's over. Okay, thank you. It's over off of Memorial Drive. If you know that area, you already know. It's, you know, if you're old Atlanta, it's in the area I think where Atrium used to be going towards Harrison's. <laughs> now, when I was 20 something, even 30. Yeah, but now I don't know, y'all. We'll see. We'll see, I love Asia, so I'm down for whatever, but I just don't know if I'm gonna stick out like a sore thumb. The place is called Gossip Lounge by 10.30. So yeah, we'll see. First I gotta do my hair though. I am working. <laughs> I'm working today. So let me, um, I'm about to go ahead and wash my hair. I want to try hair wax color. I tried it a long time ago. The brand I had was okay, but I have this pretty color from ORS hair curl and it's not new it's been around for a minute all the curly girls probably know about it already but this is my first time trying it it's color called sangria now based off the outfit i have in mind for later it's gonna be so pretty like i am so out of this conservative i've never been conservative with fashion but i've always been too much in my shell to express fashion in the sense that i want to well i'm totally like the older i get the less i give a shit you know what i'm saying about dress codes or I won't say dress codes but about what's in or out or what somebody else would think is cute like I'm going with the vision I have in my mind so the color of the dress that I think I'm wearing is like a lime green but it's a toned down lime green it's not as bright as the fluorescent shirt I wore when I met up with ego last time this is more of a toned down and our first thing that came to my mind was poison ivy from marvel I think that's marvel don't shoot me up. I want reddish pinkish hair with it. And the Sangria Color Wax is like a very pretty pinkish reddish, pinkish red, reddish pink. It's more pinkish, but it's toned. Anyway, I haven't tried it. So I'm kind of really going out on limb because I would like to know how my hair looks with it first, but I don't care, yellow. 
You know what I'm saying? So I think that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair and condition it, deep condition it. And then what I'll just come back and show you guys as I put the color in. And then we'll just pray that I don't look crazy. And you know what? If I do, I don't care. I really don't care. <laughs> as I say that, I don't give a shit. Anyway, let's go. Be right back. Okay, y'all, so I have showered and washed my hair, deep conditioned, rinsed, put in, leave in, okay? And now we've taken the excess, excess water out. Now, I'm not going to show y'all this whole process, but I just want to put a little bit in. Let me get a clip. Another clip, I should say. Okay, and I hope y'all can see. It's still daytime right now and my bathroom has a window that catches a lot of natural light which is good but when it comes to hair showing hair products and definition and natural hair the natural light is not at least the amount that comes in here is not the best so let's just do a little bit so this is the curls unleash color blast sangria that I'm doing never have tried this color before and I've used what do you call it I've used hair wax before, but it's been a long, long time ago and it was a totally different brand and it was like a blonde color. There's no method to my clipping. I'm just really trying to work from the side to the, the, the back and then the, do the top. Let me just show you a little bit. So I'm taking a little bit of this. Oh, it's kind of hard for me to look in this camera and do it. I don't want it right at my roots for a couple of reasons. Um, I don't want that color to be all on my scalp. You know what I'm saying? Oh, this is pretty. And my hair, you know, I started graying in my 30s. I have a few grays and I do dye my hair. And the ones that are popping through right now are just popping through at the base. If you put this color wax over the grays, where the gray area is, I think it'll be like, it's gonna look weird and funky. It's gonna be a whole lot lighter than the rest of the hair. So it's not like I'm going far from the roots. I'm just not applying at the roots. I'm gonna bring it up from about an inch down and then bring it up a little bit. You got me, you feel me? You smell me. And for right now, that's what we are gonna do. But do you see this? This is so pretty. I love this color and it does tone down. I did watch a YouTube video of other people try this color. And it looks like it tones down a little bit after it dries. Oh my gosh, this color though. With my skin tone, this is what I like. This mauve kind of red, pinkish red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me do a little more and then I'm gonna go off camera and finish. Cause I gotta get to the bus stop to get Juju in about an hour. So let's do a little bit more. this how I usually apply my gel or my styler product for my wash and go so when I do that I, I will re-wet if I feel like something's getting a little too dry my hair I don't know if that's high porosity or low porosity but it some parts of my hair dry really quickly so mm, not quick but faster than I would like but anyway so I'm just adding a little more water doing this front part showing you that and then I'm gone okay okay Okay, y'all, my full head is done. Again, the color will settle in more once it dries. You can diffuse it. Um, I am going to 
confused it, but I'm gonna wait a minute. I forgot how defining the curl wax is. So if you want the hair bigger, diffusing it is probably gonna be your better bet. And it won't make it frizzy if that's usually a problem for you because this is literally a wax on your hair kind of. So what I did was kind of went through on the curls and put another layer. Well, I look for patches. It's not gonna be perfect. This is a wax application. But I tried to smooth out any patches I saw where like I left a little clump of the wax in a place where, you know, it's just clearly gonna catch your eye. But then I went through on the ends and would take a little dab and add, and I don't know if you can see it in this lighting, but I would take it and then add like another little dab on the end. And what it does is kind of brightens and gives more like, dimensions to it because like I said you control the intensity which is what I love about this as well y'all I love it now I'm gonna probably pin it or style it or flip one side but right now we're just focused on the color the definition and getting it dry because I gotta go get this baby from this bus stop in a minute and yes I am that mama he is old enough to walk it's not far but people are crazy and I gotta go get my poo poo. So y'all, yes. Do I wanna add any more anywhere else? I want this to be, I want this to show. I want it to show show. I don't want no subtle nothing. And if you saw my curly cut video, I've been getting curly, curly cuts for years, but haven't been in a while. This side of my hair is always less curly. It just always is. I don't know if I lay on it more, whatever. It's just different texture. This is curlier. So this same length, but if you're looking at it right now and noticing there's some lopsidedness going on that's why but he's so good at what he does he kind of blends it at the end part and he cuts it in a way that i could still straighten it and it's not gonna look crazy so i'm going to and you see how i left some of the roots i don't want it all the way up to the top of my hair i don't want that color all on my scalp because then it really looks like clearly you put a wax on your hair girl so um y'all see it good i don't want color wax all over my thing and i'm hoping i got it good in the back i can't really looks like I did so just remember if you do this and get in your car like I have cream colored leather seats so I'm gonna put a towel over the back it will wipe off but again I heard some of these colors like the blue and purples actually do leave some transfer on your nails so I can only imagine on leather seats so put a towel on your car seat um, remember that sometimes this stuff does transfer and rub off a little bit but not too much but we'll get back to all of that yes okay i'll be back guys check in with you in a minute y'all i'm here i couldn't show me in my whole outfit because some kind of way i always end up rushing hmm some kind of way i'm not really feeling this ensemble but it is what it is damn it if i don't get my shirt dirty before i even walk in i'm not sure i'm feeling my hair it's just one of them days, y'all. And it's hot as hell out here. But we're about to go in. We're going to make it a great event anyway. We're going to have fun. Yeah. Happy birthday, Asia. <laughs> oh, I can't use it for a camera. Hi. Video. Is it? Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Hey, guys. We're here on. live and in charge at Asia's birthday party. Alexis in the house. Eagle Miles Rogers in the house. Having a good time tonight, guys. The kids are at home in bed or something like that, right? Uh -huh. We got no kids tonight. Kids They're having a party. Having a party town? Baby's kids. Baby's kids. Nene's 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 me? Yes. Never. <laughs> Never. That's correct. That is correct. I always behave. I'm a grown ass. Did you just. <gasps> what? Potty mouth. What is that? 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 I'm getting everybody to eat. I'm going to get them out. You don't mind if I think we're that kind of stuff. His name is Khalid. You? <laughs> Have you met Gia before? Like you, this ain't y'all first. This is the very first time. Oh, okay. Oh. Nothing. Pay him all the attention when it comes to fashion don't do that. and don't do that, though. music, don't do that. right? But other than that, that's a bad idea. Don't say that's a bad idea. Turn around. Look at the camera. A little bit of vodka here, guys. On ice, on the rocks. I don't. Whatever. Milk. It's so strong. It's so strong. H2O. my throat. It's my throat. I should have brought my real camera. It's a fake one. You know what I mean, not the phone camera. Cause this is gone. This is gone. 
be a lot to transfer. And it's gonna get my battery. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Javonna likes it. Like Keisha. Keisha. What is your name for real? What's your name for real? Bree. Bree. Okay, I'm Nikki. You just call me ma'am. Girl, no. I guess I mean technically. You heard me? I'm sorry. Oh, he's so cute. Are we gonna say happy birthday? Okay. Y'all ready? Happy birthday to me. We about to say happy birthday, y'all. We about to say happy birthday. We doing the which version? <laughs> which version? What's the new one? Oh no. Nah.
time last night um as you can see from the footage that i did get but i will say that auntie is getting old because i felt old at the lounge not that i don't go out to lounges and stuff or to a bar here and there but i typically go to ones you know where everybody's my age you know what i'm saying or i don't know i'm starting to see the shifts in the demographic for what i used to do versus what i do now but all is good we had a really good time celebrating asia's birthday so what i'm gonna do today my son my oldest Jaden, he had a birthday party to go to and their mom was like you could just drop them off um it's just really good friends i've met the mom before they're going to hang out and that leaves me and juju to have some time together so i felt like we should do like a mommy son date because we rarely have one-on-one -on -one time and also he had a book fair last week that he didn't get to go and buy the book that he wanted to buy it's like the day that he went and I, I gave them the money to get it but they had something going on in class and the teacher couldn't leave to take him and go to the book fair so he was really upset so i was like i haven't been in barnes and nobles in a minute and i actually like going in there so that's what we're about to do right now hair update i actually love my hair a lot more today this color this brand of temporary color, the cast is strong with this one. If you wear your hair natural and you wear gels, you know what cast is. For those of you who don't, it's basically the, sometimes some gels have a stronger hold and they'll create a cast, like a shell, um, you know, that has to be kind of softened and broken in. This was like, it wouldn't loosen yesterday. And even though I tried to pick it out, it the cast was so strong that I was, probably be adding unnecessary tension and da potentially damaging my hair by trying to like make it like this which is how i wanted today so that was the one thing if for day one hair and the amount that i put on i know i wouldn't like it on day one so much but day two and there's still a lot of hold in here perfect perfect i love this i love this color i'm just giving y'all an update for in case you're thinking about getting it link to the product is in the description box below but this is actually wonderful for my wash and goes because i've been having problems maintaining them in this amount of humidity there's a certain look i like to go for i don't mind it growing and get bigger but i was literally washing my hair putting in the product and by day the end of day two it's fully all the way into a curly fro i was like liking to get there gradually but this humidity has not been kind to me so this product will really help with get me longer washing goes too so i'm gonna look at what other colors they have i know some lines have a clear one or a black so if they have that then i'll definitely get it just to use on my regular washing that girl days even when i don't want the color so yeah let's go because um jay gonna be gone for a few hours but i want to make sure we're not rushed at the barnes and nobles let him pick, pick out his little book i'm gonna see what they have i haven't been book shopping in so long yeah let's go Pokemon card. I said books. What kind of book? Oh, the FGTV. FGTV? They don't have an But first things first, we get Starbucks. And then there's a children's place in here, so we might go get them some shirts because boys go through clothes like. Yes. 
nothing but you, nothing but you, nothing but <laughs> She's wrong. Anyway. Oh, that's all on the tip now. So y'all remember my last vlog I said I had Skeeter Syndrome and I have these allergic reactions to these bug bites. And I've been putting on my new favorite fragrance off, not really. Like religiously, but when I went out last night, um, I put some on before I left, but after a while that stuff wears off. Look, oh, wait, <laughs> I can't get it. Where is it? I think I just saw it's right there on oh, the little red spot there it got me there it got me on my neck <sighs> and they've just started swelling up and that i hope that's the worst they get so y'all i gotta come up with a solution for this i'm gonna try the lemon juice thing that i've heard somebody say to get rid of the swelling quicker well i want to i got a lime so let's see if lime works but anyway lime do them <laughs> Let's go in the bookstore. It's not just a matter. Inside the bookstore. Is it UGO? What are those? Um, I forgot that Dragon picture. Ball. Dragon Ball Z cards. How you know the end? Cause I know what Dragon Ball Z is. Dragon Ball Z is older than you. Okay, so what is gonna be my starter? He wants to show you guys what his starter is. Ooh, that kind of looks like you when you're younger. But it, anyway, <laughs> you got jokes. Show me your books. So. So the first book is Because of When Dixie is a, it's a book about a dog mm -hmm. that got found in a market and that was destroying the market until the boy said it was his dog mm -hmm. for no reason. And you said you read that one already but you really liked it, right? And so I, now he has his own. And I, 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 I looked interested in this book so I bought it. What's it called? The, I can't see. It's on the side for the book too. The Cryd Pin. The Cryptid Catcher. Should be interesting. So what you gonna do? You what are you gonna read first? Are you gonna reread the Windexie or are you going to start this one. the new one? Mm-hmm. And I got these. Oh, and we went. Hold on, let me flip this. We also went in Children's Place, but it it literally maybe took us 10 minutes, so I didn't even film. 
but they needed new shirts and Julius needed some more shorts excuse me but my eye is like itchy um, so we just got a couple of, you know, children's place is really inexpensive. And so. this card is good because it has 5,000 power. Like, cool. <laughs> there you go. It's, it's a glare, but they can see it now. So yeah, this is a good outing. The, did I already say the food, about the food at the Starbucks? It's way better than the regular Starbucks. Yeah, it's been so long since I've been in Barnes & Noble though. I didn't realize that. Maybe, or maybe I forgot it. I don't know. We're going home now, though. We have a little while, I think, before Jaden's ready to be picked up. So, I'm going to go home. Lay down. Clean up and lay down. Yeah. Yep. All right, y'all. So, clearly, I didn't come back on camera last night. Juju and me had a wonderful mommy Sunday. It was so cute. We really needed that one-on-one -on -one time. He's the quieter of my two sons. I feel like it's valuable to always have individual time with all your children, but I do feel like you know, he really benefits the most, and I do, from those one-on-one -on -one engagements because I get to hear his complete thoughts, and he's a little bit more outgoing and expressive. It was just a great time. However, as I mentioned before with me and this stupid Skeeter syndrome thing where, where you have your allergic reaction to mosquito bites, I think it's way more common than people realize, but yes, I do have allergic reaction in my skin. But this year has been the worst I've ever experienced it. And I, I mentioned I had more bites and they don't immediately all the, swell all the way. Sometimes it takes a couple of days, like two, three days. Well, they were burning to high heavens last night. I wanted to scratch my skin off. And if you have joined me from when I was doing more natural health videos, you know I also have psoriasis, eczema, acne that I suffer with. When you have skin conditions, especially ones that are, you know, produce itch itching symptoms Symptoms like psoriasis and eczema can anything that causes a skin reaction on your body will also flare up your psoriasis so now I'm having the burning and the pain from these mosquito bites but also my psoriasis patches that I work so hard to keep to a minimum natural without pharmaceutical intervention because what I also found out was that the drugs that they prescribe can also make it worse it suppresses it, but then it creates a need for your body to need more. And they keep stepping you up until eventually they step you into what's called a biologic, which is a basically an ingestible pill or a shot that you get that is whatever the highest class of, class, class of restriction, meaning you got the, it's dangerous. It can be dangerous. It helps a lot of people, but it can also be dangerous. And a lot of times, I think what people don't realize is that some people truly need that out the gate some people are stepped up to that because of the pharmaceuticals that they keep getting prescribed like instead of figuring out what triggers your body they just write you a script and now your body adjusts it flares worse they give you something stronger similar to that if you haven't watched painkiller on netflix i highly encourage you to because i have a lot <laughs> to say about the pharmaceutical industry and the state of medic, you know, medical care in this country. But we ain't getting into all, all that right now. The point is, I worked hard to keep my psoriasis to a minimum and now these mosquitoes are fl giving me other painful patches which also, and also flaring up my psoriasis patches. So I saw, I've also, my nail tech told me his son has the same thing and that lemon juice really helps with the reaction. But I think you're supposed to do it when you first realize you've been bitten because the more you scratch and the more you, you know, mess with it and it spreads, the harder it is to get it subsided. But I'm about to go downstairs and try to do this lemon juice thing now. Even though it's been three days, I'm going to try it because I had to come home, take Benadryl and I basically passed out for the rest of the night, which is why I didn't pick up the vlog camera anymore. That's the long point I was trying to get to. Yeah, Nikki, you gotta speed up your point sometimes. I wouldn't listen to this shit either. But anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. So I'm gonna go downstairs and try to do that, but hopefully it helps. Because this is driving me nuts. Also, oh y'all, this hair, I love it more now. We're on day, the end of day three with the ORS curl wax curl color wax temporary hair color whatever and i think i mentioned before i really wasn't feeling it the first day because the curl the hole was so strong that my curls were looking real tight and like i don't it was giving very much jerry curl very much soul glow and it wouldn't move and i couldn't pick it out but 
it does extend my wash and go look at this day three hair i love it now i love it now so we're gonna try some more colors in a future vlog but let me get my i came in my junkie bathroom to get cotton balls so we can go try this lemon juice thing so yeah one second just a pause for the cause you see this in this light <laughs> you see it oh, oh you see it do you see it i know you see it i know you see it i love any mini money Mo okay let me stop i don't know why i have such a hard time with camera angles like i just i just want to cut see this is stupid right i just want to cut the limit and i want to see the damn limit but <laughs> It won't, and, but I want y'all to see me. Why I say be focused? I'm sick of this shit. I'm gonna cut a lemon. I'm just gonna do half. I probably don't even need that much juice. In the juicer. <laughs> and then the rest I'm gonna save or put it in my water or something. Put it in a Ziploc bag. I love this thing because you get, you see how clean that is now? If I find this on Amazon, I'll put the link below. But I think I got this from Kroger. And then a little lemon juice. I'm just going to keep this in this cup and probably put some saran wrap over it. Because I don't think I have a tiny container. But you just take the lemon juice, dab it. And you see this spot? It's not as big as the last one was. Now, let, hold on. I'm going to tell y'all something. One second. Here's the other one. Still not quite as big as the last one. And then I have some on the back of my neck is where I have. They went to town. They went to pound town. Just left pound town. Because <laughs> I don't know. I think I was asleep. I'm going to move this camera in one second, y'all. Give me a second. I think I went to sleep, though. Oh, gosh. I thought this was going to burn, but it doesn't. And I think they just, I think they just had a good old time while I was asleep. I don't know if it's in my mind, but I will say right when I did that, it does, it did kind of soothe. I don't think this is a permanent solution. Like you might have to do it a few times. I need to read up more on it, but I do will say right now it feels better. If you done scratched your skin to the white meat dough, don't do this. Don't you put no lemon juice. Now look. I'm going to tell you a joke, but I won't tell you a lie. Don't your dumb ass put no lemon juice on an open scratch, okay? You know, I just... <laughs> I feel like nobody that would watch me can be too stupid anyway, but you just never know. <sighs> and let me put that up. So I will report back because this is supposed to work for mosquito bites, period. Um, From what I did, look, have the time to look up. Where was it going back up? But especially if you're having a reaction to like any kind of bite that makes you itchy, um, it's, it's, it's good to put it on. But put it on right when you realize you get bit. That's what I do see you're supposed to do for the best results. But I'll update y'all on that. Now, you know what? Let me get another zip lock. I'm going to just put that cup in there and leave it sitting up right. But it's going to be in a zip lock too. It is staying a little bit on the back of my neck, but that's also where I scratched it the most. So we'll see. Okay, let's go back upstairs. I need to talk to y'all. I need to talk to y'all. Hold on. All right, y'all. So it is the end of the night. I am ready to take a shower and lay it down. The kids are in bed. I just wanted to update y'all. So the lemon juice appears to be working. I immediately got itch relief that I haven't gotten from the Benadryl cream. If I can get this in cute. Now, that's my psoriasis there. The dark spots. But I can't even. Anyway. You can't really even see where the mosquito bite is anymore. It's not as red. So, the neck ones though. Those are. Oh, they brutal. But the lemon juice did work there as well. It's just that those are going to take a little bit longer. The bumps are a lot more swollen there. Look at me scratching now. And then the other arm. Um, You could probably still see the red patch. I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Either way, point being the lemon juice does help. So definitely, 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 if you have issues with mosquito bites, use lemon juice, 
but use it as soon as you realize that you have a bite juice it rub it on with a cotton ball this is not what i'm supposed to be doing with this one Oh well. So I'm gonna go ahead and close off this vlog. I hope you all have enjoyed this one. I'm really enjoying doing these vlogs. I enjoy the creative process of trying to think how I wanna improve on them. Y'all, there is so much more layers to me, things I wanna talk about. I really been thinking about what is it that I want my vlog to say? Because I do want it to be lifestyle and incorporate all of the things that I'm interested in into this. So health and wellness still being part of that. How to spread that to my inner circle my friends my family you know help those some of those habits rub off on others also improve my own day-to-day -day habits but also like yeah i want this to take off yes i want to make money from it yes i would eventually like to be able to make a living from it but i also want to leave a print imprint of me and what i believe in in my journey and i have a story to tell y'all i have a story i got a lot of stories to tell <laughs> and i really think that a lot of what the knowledge that i've accumulated over my lifetime and some of the things that i'm still learning that it can help to go through that journey with other people as long as i remain in an authentic space and this is not a dig at any other YouTuber, but I just, there's a lot of channels and lifestyle channels out there. And there's a lot of them that focus on, you know, travel vlogs and what I bought today and what you should buy tomorrow. And don't get it twisted. I'm gonna do some of that too. <laughs> but as the title slide to my channel says, it's my endless pursuit of balance is, yes, I wanna make money. Yes, I participate in capitalism I'm uh, as a true American does <laughs> or westernized uh, person does. But also, being mindful about you know keeping internal balance and inner i just don't want to project project this image of somebody that some that other people want to envy like <laughs> i don't know how to put this i don't know how to word it i want to be relatable and remain relatable at every stage of this journey i want people to understand that everybody goes through everybody i want people to understand that trips and bags and labels and those are nice to have and you should always aspire to have the things that you want in life but why you know also have an understanding of those are not bandages temporary bandages for deep-seated wounds that need to be healed and i think a lot of what i've seen going on is a lot of people aspire to things and they don't know why they're aspiring to them is it even something that you really like or want do you really want that louis vuitton purse or do you want the status that comes Comes with it and why do you feel like you have to stretch yourself thin to buy five ten fifteen thousand dollar purse to make other people want to be you when you fully don't even want to be you do you get what i'm saying I, you might not it'll make sense later <laughs> but it's all about being authentic to yourself and finding out who that yourself is and as me being at the age that i'm at at 41 it's a constant journey learning is a constant journey healing is a constant journey but i think the problem is there's so many people on social media portraying that they've healed or portraying how do i put this the best aspects of their life which they're fully entitled to do because no one is entitled to everyone's personal life I just want to contribute more to the discussion because I'm willing to share some of my experiences and where I've fallen short. And I'm willing to, to, to be forthright about different things that I've experienced in my life. You know, I've been married before. I've had my heart crushed in a million pieces before. I've broken a heart before. I have been one of those people that practice self-love and, and self-care and deep down inside it was total and utter bullshit. I just really didn't believe it and I was trying to fake it until I make it. And then there were those aha moments where I realized that I was fooling myself. And just talking about what that looks like in, in joining a journey with me to attain more monetarily monetarily is that the word financially but also keep center to who i am and and spread and use that to spread love to others spread aware self-awareness to others and what that really looks like what that really really looks like and also just a shared interest with people who have the same interest in me i love music and i ain't just talking about listening to it and dancing i'm talking about on a deeper soul level I love those type of discussions. I love talking about self-improvement. I got a lot to say about this hyper-focus on relationships that everybody in their mama seems to have, at least the appearance of that on social media right now. I have a lot to say. So I hope you all join me. I don't you know, feel like I wanna dump all of that into every vlog, but 
it's real and I think it'll help some people. And also just by living my life authentically. Even if that means a whole week goes by and it's boring as hell. If that's authentically my week, I want people to know, hey, she went out and had a glamorous time last week. Now she got to sit there and eat ramen noodles for the rest of the week. I don't claim that for my life. I'm just saying, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Or now she got to spend her week calling the plumber and doing the laundry and taking the kids to the dentist because that is the balance of life. Or last week she felt fly. She felt like the finest thing in the room. This week, for whatever reason, whether it be PMS or that comparison demon that sneaks up on some of us, she isn't feeling herself. And I can relate to that. And I've been through that at every stage of my life, teen, pre-teens, teens, 20s, 30s. Now I'm in my 40s and I finally feel like a more whole person that can really honestly say, although I have insecure moments, although I have things that I would like to change about my habits and my, you know, my lifestyle, that overall, I still love the hell out of myself. I finally love myself. I'm finally in a place where I can understand what it means. And when you get there, all those times you bullshit yourself become very clear. And that's information you want to share with other people. Anyway, I'm rambling. It might not make sense. But just like and comment and subscribe and come back. And we'll talk more. But until then, good night. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Mwah. Or whenever you watch this. Okay? Bless up. Baby, 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 baby.